Some daytime, how stop motion animation comes to life. You have to be very careful with every movement otherwise, um, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, if you make a mistake, you get, we're gonna, on our, in our case, if we make a mistake, you have to start all over again from the beginning. Whether it's a TV Christmas classic like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or the newly Oscar-winning version of Pinocchio, stop-motion animation has been entertaining us for decades. And now a Tampa couple is making a mark on the art form with animated shorts like this one titled Goal. talented duo behind that stop motion short, Chad and Daphne Verzosa from Latala Creative Studios. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it's so cool the way things look like they're just moving independent of hands or other objects. I love it. And you're going to do a little for us today, yes. right? Yes. Before we get to that, I want to know what goes into making these. Um, it, it actually takes a lot of patience to... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> to do stop motion animation because um, you have to be very careful with every movement otherwise, um, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, if you make a mistake, you get, we're going to, in our case, if we make a mistake, we have to start all over again from the beginning just so everything looks smooth and doesn't look very jerky. Wow, and we can see a little bit behind the scenes. There's a lot that goes into this. Uh, Chad, why don't you tell me, how did you all start making stop motion animation? Well, um, as, kid, uh, as kids from the 90s, we loved watching movies like um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm. And um, we, a as we grew older, we started experimenting with various aspects of stop motion animation. And um, when we started doing um, commercial photography, clients started asking us to do stop motion uh, stuff for them, and that's how we really got started. Wow. Yeah. And then, so, Daphne, how many shots does it take to make, let's just say, a second of the video? Um, I would say it, it depends on the frame rate that you want to do. At the minimum, it would be like 12 frames, mm -hmm. 12 frames per second. So and that would be just, that's just for one second. So imagine if like, <laughs> if it's a 30 second commercial or something mm -hmm. like that, it takes, multiply that and then it takes so much more. Oh, wow. And then you all can come up with pretty much anything that you want these inanimate objects yes. to do. It's just about having the right tools to get them to move. So what are some of the things that we have here today? Okay, so um, that one over there is uh, called a rig. Mm -hmm. um, and it's used to suspend objects in the air when you it, when you want um, an inanimate object to um, jump in the air, for instance. Uh, that's what you use to suspend it in the air. Yeah, wow. make, you know, to make everything flow. Like basically have them do whatever like whatever you can imagine. As long as you have that, you're good. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if my patience for it is gonna be as good as you all, but you have a camera here. Uh, let, can we try to make a little yes. movement here yes. on the table? Absolutely. Okay. okay, so what are we gonna do? I love the daytime, by the way. Thank you so much. Yes, Wonderful. we wanted to personalize it for the show. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, we got water, we got a little man in the sand. What are we gonna do to make them move okay so we wanted everything so there's going to be three simultaneous movements that oh. are going to be happening so we're going to have to help each other here okay. <laughs> so, okay, um, so yeah we will be moving um the wave and okay. then we'll be moving the legs of our puppet here and we'll also be using um this um uh, it's mean? actually a fish lure, but <laughs> we're going to be using it as a, okay. a fish that will be jumping out of the water. Let's okay. do it. Okay, so um, what we're going to have you do is like move the wave um, downward five, uh, five movements down. Just very little. Yes, okay. just very little movements and then five upwards. And then while you're doing that, we're also going to be moving the legs. In okay, there. let's do it. Okay. Okay, let's do the first move. Ready, Chad? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm attached. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Am I doing this right? 
Just little movements? Yep, what? and and then you start moving um moving up too? Up. Yes. Yep. And then look at my little wave go. And you're making yeah. ripples in there too? Yes. yes. There's so many little things to consider in yes. this to make it look like it's actually moving. Okay, and you all know ahead of time, you also made one for us. Yes. yes. So I want to take a look and see what a finished video may look like. Let's look. check it out. Oh, look at the little fish. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I love it. That is so cool. So the ripples go along with the fish. So how do you edit the, the fish part, at like the wire, out? Um, we use Photoshop. Because ah, we, okay. we, we animate frame by frame, and we use Photoshop to delete the wire. And you had to go frame by frame. Yes. So how many frames did it take to make that little video? For this, this one, one, surprisingly, it was only um, 20 like frames. 20 frames. 20 frames. So Together. yeah, so when we go um, into post-processing, we mm -hmm. have to like, um, edit each frame, like take out all the wires, all the rigs that we have to mm -hmm. use. So it there's apart from the shooting itself, a lot of work takes in happens. The pre post and the post yes. production. All right. Exactly. Thank you both so much for being here, and I love the daytime waves. Oh, Thank, so you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so you. much. All right, and you can find them on Instagram at Latala Creative Studios.